everyone. Oh, there's Goldie wearing his pudsy bear. Goldie, say hi. Hi. So this week is our fourth week practicing social distancing. And we are also, for my school, it would be spring break. So we are also pretending it is still spring break and taking some time to um, relax. So this is actually spring break for my students and unlike other school districts, our students are being encouraged to have spring break. So for teachers, that means that we legitimately do not have to be doing all the things that we've been doing. So I've been doing daily check-ins and making videos and I told my students that it's spring break. So next time they see me, it'll be Tuesday, April 14th. My district has asked us to do some PD. They've been very fair. All the PD is what we will need to give our instruction going forward. Our instruction starts on the 20th of April, but of course we need to create the lessons, which are different. They're gonna involve us having to film ourselves, say in the education, the, you know, the, the learning. And so that's gonna take a little bit more time but my district has been really fair and really understanding of what the students are gonna be able to do. We are only going to write a social studies and science lesson plan, so two lesson plans each week until the end of May, which it would have been when we finished our school year. And they are to be at maximum 30 minutes long or around 30 minutes long. And I think that, and then we're gonna assign, we have a computer program that we've been using for reading and for math and we're gonna assign lessons on those. I think that is extremely like, um, I can't say how great that is. Like I really think that's been understanding a parent. If parents want to do more, they can. We can give um, extensions on what they could do if they want to do more than what we've given them. But a lot of children might have parents that are essential workers or they have to share a computer and they have like a I mean, I'm first grade, if you have a high school student in your family, they might take the priority with the technology or the working parent or, you know, you don't know. So I'm really impressed with the district I work for. And anyhow, my point was there's four PDs, they're an hour long, all things I'm gonna need to give that instruction. And I can take them this week or next week. We do not have to do anything this week. It is legitimately spring break. But I decided that I would much rather do the PD this week and work on the lesson plan next week or at the end of this week so that I'm not doing it all in one week. I mean, like it matters now, you know. But it's a little bit easier with the, uh, the little one if I can spread things out and do stuff when he's napping, which gives me about an hour to two, an hour to two hours every day to do um, solid work without him. My videos, my check-ins, I can do with Colby. Colby's all, often in them, but it's easier for my brain to do lesson plans when that isn't happening. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so I am doing that this week. Colby, can you pick it up? Lift it up. Lift. <gasps> yeah! Um, anyhow, so this is spring break. Apart from those four PDs, which I've mostly scheduled for tomorrow and for Thursday. I mean, they, my district have been so good. They've offered the PDs on multiple occasions over a two week period. Like, that's wonderful. Um, but I won't be, Colby, you hit my leg. So anyway, so schedule most of them for tomorrow. This is spring break. We hope you enjoy joining us for spring break. Sorry about the long intro. And we're gonna go on our bike ride right now. So we'll see you later. Tom is in the kitchen already prepping dinner, even though it's 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, might as well. The, the, the one thing, I, I think next trend in kitchen, so it was stainless steel, and then the granite, and now, I mean, now it's all the other weird stuff. And people have the dual sinks and everything. But I, I want them to come up with those, uh, like on the chef shows, they have the hole in the counter where you can just sweep things you don't want in the hole, and it goes in the trash can. I've never seen that in a non-commercial kitchen. I think it would be a good idea. This is, no, I turn and move around every time I, I cut stuff up and I have to get rid of... Um, so, so Tom, what are we having for dinner tonight? Indian food. Indian food. So, what do we use for that? We use... Tikka. This Tikka mix, and it's from Tesco. Oh, Colby is so noisy. It's from Tesco, which is an English grocery store. And we do get these from England. I buy them whenever Hi, I go over. Mommy. Hi. I also ask my mom to buy these for me when she comes over or whoever visits. Um, um, What's wrong? 
You wanna play in the mud? We're gonna go on a bike ride. Anyhow, so we're using this. This is just a collection of uh, Tika spices. Um, but we love it. It tastes great, and I think, unless it's gone up in price, it's like a pound. It's so cheap. In America, it costs you like five or six bucks. So it is Tuesday, and we are getting ready to go on our bike ride. So there is Tom getting the Colby ready. And before we leave, I just want to do a quick update on the nest. Looking the same as yesterday. Still, I don't think there's anything in it. And the bag is Good up and ready to go. So we're gonna go no, we can't take those for a half an hour bike ride. Colby's convinced he can take really big trains. One of them, that one. Yes, that one's the smallest one, Tom. All right, you can take this one. Yes, he does hold on to them pretty good. That one. All right, let's go. And uh, one. yeah, so happy to. So I just finished uh, two Zoom trainings. Well, they weren't Zoom trainings, they were trainings that I took part in that were on Zoom. <laughs> Um, one for the 123 app, which we're going to be using for recording videos to communicate with our students for our lessons, and one on iReady, which is a program we have been using at our school for the past two years. And I already did know that one, but it's good to attend the training and make sure that you do know, because you think you know, and then you find out you don't know. Luckily, I did know. Anyhow, my husband took my son out for a walk so that I could do the trainings in peace, and it is starting to rain. And I looked up the street, and I looked down the street, and I don't see them, and I'm hoping he put the cover on him, but, you know, there's nothing I can do. I don't know where they went for their walk. So, and uh, we share a cell phone, Tom and I. That's another weird thing about us. We don't have our own cell phones, so it's not like I can pick up the phone and call him like a normal person. I can't. So I'll just wait inside. I mean, I'm dry. The push chair... Just so you know, when I say push chair, that's an English word. It means like the stroller. When um, the rain shield is in the stroller, so if it does rain a lot, he should be covered. But you know, as a mum, you worry a little bit. I know his dad's got him. I know his dad can handle it, right? <laughs> I was looking for you. Where's his cover? Oh my, no, I've been out in it. It started about five minutes ago. He's gonna be all wet. Is he asleep? He's asleep and he's all wet. His feet are up. Did he put his feet up or did yeah. you put his feet up? Put his feet up. All right, how did you get him asleep? I just kept, I walked in like random patterns. So okay. Uh, my training finished a little early, so I'm done. That's cool. Yeah. All right, well, I'm glad I found you. Yeah, no, I, I was like well, looking at the end of the road, but I didn't know when you were, where, how you were gonna. Three o'clock for the rain to start. Yeah, well, out. I didn't know how you were gonna get back, so I was just oh, I looking. Was I know, and his shades there. The lens, the lens has got a little bit of rain on. Yeah. All, All right. right, well, I'm glad I found you. Bring the flag in. Yay! Really You're bringing the flag in. Um, little take a sleep. And Tom's bringing the flag in because isn't it disrespectful to leave the flag out in the rain? In any weather, yeah. I have certain rules. I mean, if you have a light on it, you can leave it at night. I don't know what the rule is with the rain. I don't know how that works. Anyway, it's just as easy to bring it in. You know when you start doing something and it seems like a great idea and then you're in it and it's not a great idea? Well, it's raining outside. My son is asleep and I decided it was time to take my winter clothes out of my closet and put my summer clothes back. So this, oh I don't even know if I can deal with it, is a mess I've currently made. I'm watching Taryn Denise, I think it is, on YouTube, I'll just shut off. And she's trying to stick a stitch fix, fix try on. And you, so YouTube is keeping me company while I try and sort out ugh, this mess. I'm not sure how long it's been, but I have been working steadily. I don't know if it looks any better. I know over here it looks a little bit cleaner and tidier. And that there is winter clothes that I have to find a tub for. That tub is full of winter clothes and trash on the floor. There's two tubs of winter clothes. That bed part is there because Colby climbs into bed with us and sleeps on that side. And when he climbs into bed with us, we don't want him to fall out again. Anyway, I'm hoping you can see that it looks tidier. I've uh, resorted to a glass of, of wine to help get me through this. It's been maybe 
25 more minutes, half an hour, maybe more, I'm losing track. And yeah, the wine is empty. But the clothes, I don't know. Does it look any better? All right, I'm gonna keep going. It's been maybe 25 more minutes, half an hour, maybe more, I'm losing track. And yeah, the wine is empty. But the clothes, I don't know. Does it look any better? All right, I'm gonna keep going. It's a few hours later. I've had dinner and a bit of a break and I'm back watching YouTube on my Kindle over there. The bed is still not finished. Colby joined me for a little bit and brought some toys up. This side is looking better. Um, get in there but not finished. So today my job is literally just to clear, from now is just to clear the bed, get all the stuff hang up, hung up and then the, and tomorrow or the next day when it's rainy out because it was raining out that's why i did this um i'm gonna pull out the bed and the stuff all back there from where colby's been hiding it the stuff back there from colby and just to really tidy up all the sides because that's what needs doing calling it a night i did end up clearing this off you can see there's a hammer and nails because i added this to my wall for my socks and my slippers so that i can grab those easily i made this um years and years ago and on the back it has the date of our wedding and then i added some more over here just for a few like very light things our wall is just it's just not very strong but it's good for what i need it for and over here i have put away my work clothes that were here which is really kind of sad and I've got out my outfits for the next few days and I have to sort this tub out this is my jean tub my jeans don't go in my closet they stay in this jean tub but they're a bit of a mess and there's a sweater in there too I picked this dress out for Easter so that's what I'll wear it's really pretty and I thrifted this when I was in England a few years ago and it's a 16 I'm probably really an 18 in England but who knows and for the past like 45 minutes I've been joined by this little tyke who found a belt that I no longer want and has been attaching it to his trucks and pulling them around and I think he might be quite smart it's pretty amazing what he's been doing my bed's trashed I have to make that next but we'll be getting into it and there are diapers, there are pull-ups all over my bed because Colby pulled them all out of the plastic and had a, a diaper party on my bed. So, that's it, I'm ready for bed. I've got my stitch jammies on and uh, I'm fed up with cleaning this room. I don't really know why it takes me so long. I think I just get like distracted I don't I don't know I'm always really pleased when I'm done but that was not I was hoping that would be an easy job I have to tackle this too this unit over here has just become like like half that stuff is too big and it's just that's not what it should be let me show you this is the area which we blocked off because the, the window and Colby has just dumped everything down there so those are the jobs I need to finish. I'm determined to clean this room and get it finished before I go back to work, which um, is in the building is August, but back to work is actually April 20th. That's when lessons are going to start for my students online. I do have to write my lessons, but that's, that's like my date. By April 20th, I need this room finished because I can't take it anymore. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Alright, so we'll see you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Um, can't turn off button. I'm calling it a night. I did end up clearing this off. You can see there's a hammer and nails because I added this to my wall for my socks and my slippers so that I can grab those easily. I made this um, years and years ago. And on the back it has the date of our wedding. And then I added some more over here just for a few, like, very light things our wall is just it's just not very strong but it's good for what i need it for and over here i've put away my 
work clothes that were here which is really kind of sad and I've got out my outfits for the next few days and I have to sort this tub out this is my jean tub my jeans don't go in my closet they stay in this jean tub but they're a bit of a mess and there's a sweater in there too I picked this dress out for Easter so that's what I'll wear it's really pretty and I thrifted this when I was in England a few years ago and it's a 16 I'm probably really an 18 in England but who knows and for the past like 45 minutes I've been joined by this little tyke who found a belt that I no longer want and has been attaching it to his trucks and pulling them around and I think he might be quite smart it's pretty amazing what he's been doing my bed's trashed I have to make that next but we'll be getting into it and there are diapers there are pull-ups all over my bed because Colby pulled them all out of the plastic and had a a diaper party on my bed so that's it I'm ready for bed I've got my stitch jammies on and uh, I'm fed up with cleaning this room I don't really know why it takes me so long I think I just get like distracted I don't I don't know I'm always really pleased when I'm done but that was not I was hoping that would be an easy job I have to tackle this too this unit over here has just become like like half that stuff is too big and it's just that's not what it should be and let me show you this is the area which we blocked off because the, the window and Colby has just dumped everything down there so those are the jobs I need to finish I'm determined to clean this room and get it finished before I get back to work which um, is in the building is August but back to work is actually April 20th that's when lessons are going to start for my students online I do have to write my lessons but that's that's like my date by April 20th I need this room finished because I can't take it anymore and uh, yeah all right so we'll see you tomorrow I uh, can't turn the button so it's now Wednesday and oh it's a bit dark going upstairs and we are continuing the re I guess I should call it the reclamation of our bedroom from Colby because there's a lot of stuff in here that's his anyway yesterday when I left you I was the room looked really tidy all my clothes have been taken care of and it was better today I have literally gone underneath the bed pulled out everything that's under the bed and now look <laughs> yes <laughs> and uh, toys toys there are thousands of books I've collected the books up we still need to pull the bed out and look behind it this cabinet this cupboard was over there and totally inaccessible so I pulled it out which was a lot of work and put my winter clothing down there so that's different that that looks different but yeah we're getting there we're getting there doesn't look like it doesn't feel like it but we are so we're all ready and uh colby is ready and we're gonna go on our daily excursion into the world world we're gonna go outside for our bike ride we'll see you when we get back we're back from our bike ride and Tom is making lunch for Colby and me. Colby is watching a little bit of Peppa Pig and I am going to do a Zoom meeting training me how to use Zoom. <laughs> Bye. Ready, steady. <laughs> More. Okay, go back further. Go back, go back, go back. Ready, steady. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> right, ready, steady. <laughs> okay, go further. Ready, steady. Yeah! Hi, hi everyone. So it is the end of the day on Wednesday. I did not spend a lot of time uh, working on my room today. This morning I spent like a good hour and a half, I think 
moving things around and pulling stuff out. There's still quite a lot to do. I'm going to show you in just a minute. But it was a very productive day. I had two one-hour PDs on Zoom or via Zoom. One of them was on Zoom. And I had an, a nice chat with my friends in England. It, they call it Wine Wednesday. And I was able to join in because I'm actually not at work at the same time as they'd be doing it because we're five hours different so we're five hours behind so we did it at three o'clock so I was kind of day, day drinking and they were evening drinking which was nice then I had a two and a half hour zoom um, chat with one of my co-workers and we did a lot of productive work on our upcoming lesson plans and so in terms of the day it was a very productive day we did our bike ride this morning I played out. I played outside for just a little bit with Colby, and um, yeah, it was a nice day. I hope I can spend more time with my son tomorrow. That's all my PDs done. I know what I need to do for my lessons, and it's not as much as it could be because we really worked hard on it today. So uh, yeah, let me show you the room. So I've just been up here for about half an hour, and you can see this stuff yet again been placed back on my side. I found some headbands I had in storage. Some craft supplies under my bed, some Dr. Zeus bags I brought years ago. But the bed is empty, and those are Tom's clothes. Oh, it's Colby. Hi, Colby. Those are Tom's clothes that he needs to work out where they're going. I just put them down there. This needs to be gone through. So, this is full of scarves and belts and old nail polishes, and I need to go through every single one of those. That's on my to do list. Up top I've got all of Colby's books. We read a book or two a night and they usually end up shoved over there on the floor. So I'm hoping that if I pull a book or two out like I have over here and then remember to put them back and then pick, like not pick another two books until those two have gone back, Mommy. maybe that will help us. Bunny. That's not bunny gonna... Bunny. You found a bunny? Where? Here's the bunny. Where's the bunny? What bunny? The Easter bunny? Oh, I know what you mean. The bunny that makes... I don't know where your bunny is. Anyhow, that won't be there. That needs to go. There is still stuff all down the back of here. We need to pull that mattress out and sort that. That pillow really needs to be re-bleached, um, re I think. But that's Tom's. Ugh. Over there has been sorted out. There is nothing back here anymore. Tom needs to reattach this, but there are no clothes down there. And I've covered up my tubs. And it's really nice over here. So the bed is in a different place. It feels really nice. I've left Colby's toys because he needs something to do while I am tidying. Um, this needs to be sorted out. But all in all, looking at the positives, that's a lot better than it was yesterday and oh look at that mess i'm going to take care of that tomorrow and that tomorrow and then i have this to take care of over here like there's lots to take care of but i'm getting there and like i said my deadline for myself is april 20th so i'll see you tomorrow and give you an update on what happens with my room bye good morning everyone it is thursday and we are about to go for a bike ride. We need to get some groceries at Aldi. Because we eat so fresh, we're not quite on that once a week um, shopping trip. However, um, Aldi have now changed their policy because of the coronavirus and they are only letting in one person per family. So Tom's gonna go in, get the groceries, and Colby and I are gonna walk around the car park. He's gonna be in the bike seat, I'm gonna push him round and then we'll bike back. So it's the same as doing our bike ride, it's just we're gonna stop at Aldi so Tom can go in and grab some essentials that we're running low on and then um, come back home. And that will end up being about a half an hour bike ride. So that's what we're doing. It's a little bit, um, I don't know, all these grocery stores are like changing the rules all the time and every time they change it and get a little bit stricter, it's a little scarier, like it's okay, you're okay, and then they like tighten their rules, and you're like, what happened that meant that rule had to be tightened? Like what's happened that I'm not aware of, or you know, that I'm trying to find a better light. That's made it so that has to be the case. They're also making it that 
which I understand only so many people in a store at once, they're gonna hand you a cart that they've cleaned and you're allowed to go only one way up the aisles. Now, I'm not gonna be going in, so I don't know what it's gonna be like. I'll get Tom to tell us when he comes out. But my mum said in England, that what they've done is they've like, they've got like rows um, sectioned off and it's like one person in and then one person out and there's literally staff directing one person at a time down the aisles. My friends in England on Facebook today, one of them wrote, don't go to Sainsbury's. They had to wait 25 minutes to get in the store and 20 minutes to get into Lidl. So this is definitely impacting everyone more and more each day. This like Corona virus scare. It's, it's, it's impacting people's daily lives more and more. And every time it impacts lives a little bit more, it becomes a little bit more real and a little bit more scary. So we're going to go to... We're gonna bike to Aldi. Tom's gonna do our shop. He's gonna use hand sanitizer. We're gonna bike home and we're gonna wash our hands and then we're gonna spend the rest of the day in our house and finish in that bedroom. So we went on our bike ride and let me just zoom you out. We went on our bike ride. Tom got the food from Aldi and then he had a free cycle pickup, um, which we are on our way back from. And I'm gonna have Tom tell you what it was like inside of Aldi. What was it like, Tom? They had like lines on the floor, but no one was falling. Like arrows? Yeah, but they weren't like enforcing it. I didn't realize it until after I'd like And there were literally the two men outside. They gave cars. you a car and then they um, put a tally mark next to how many people were in the store. Yeah. One of the, when you were in there, one of the employees came and they said he wasn't allowed to start work because there were 60 people in the store already. So we had to wait for a customer to leave before he could start work. It's insanity. And so there were arrows. Was it busy in there? It I mean, was normal. I mean, they weren't making you go down the aisles like. I mean, one they way. were saying sixty people. Was it quick through the um, till? Yeah, it, it, there was a long line, but they were. If considering how long the line was, it was very fast. And, and say about the milk. The milk is like th it's it cost him as Maine. It's no, twice were, the price. No, but well, what did you notice about the um the gallon versus oh, the, the half? Oh, gallon's three seventy nine, but the half gallons are a dollar. So you just buy half gallons. I don't know why people were buying gallons. I thought it was funny. I thought it was really funny. Because the cost per amount was cheaper. Half gallons are better. You get a, you have a fresher gallon of milk every time you use it because you have to open it twice as much. It's better. I, I'd yeah. rather have half gallons. Easy to carry. And then we couldn't didn't get the oil. We need yeah, oil because it costs a bit oil. more money. Um, I'll what, get it next week. They shouldn't have it there. They're all day. What else did we need that you couldn't get? Well, I only get two eggs. Yeah. Last time it was four. four. I wanted to get four. Um... That's but enough for breakfast. But you felt fine in there? You didn't feel like you felt clean and everything? I don't care. I well, wouldn't I know. notice. I wouldn't notice. I'd be the last one to notice that. Yeah. So Colby and I were outside the store the whole time and he he was in like the, the bike seat. So I took him out of the bike seat and we were running up and down outside the store where there's no store. Like there's, there's like the wall of the building. So we were running up and down and it is hard to stop a toddler from like he wanted to pick up like a receipt on the floor. Like it's hard to stop a young child from wanting to touch things. Um, but we waited about five minutes. We gave Tom up five minutes inside the store and he came out and then we went back. But it's still a little strange seeing all the people with the face masks. And I we have not worn face masks yet. I'm thinking about it, but I still say about, 50, I would say about 50% of the people I see are not wearing the masks. And uh, so I'm not sure. And with a toddler, I mean, he's just going to pull it off me. He's not going to keep his on. So I don't know how effective it would be for us to wear them with, with a child this young. I don't know. Anyway, so we've just kept going back home. We're, on our, we're nearly home. We did a free cycle pickup. That's going to be another video. And we'll see what this afternoon has in store for us. Colby, you helping Daddy change the oil? Yes. Did you put a bungee cord on the car? So a quick bedroom update. We did not make the bed this morning. I have been going through these cubes, and I've been organizing my scarves. And there's belts. There's more scarves. There's like random head things, like hair things, and cables and yeah it's a bit of a mess so that will not be finished today but remember my goal was April 20th so I'm still good for that I plan to maybe do a little bit more tonight 
finish that up, the cubes at least, and then tackle this and then this. But it is getting there, it doesn't feel like it. But that there was like a storage house of just junk. And I filled up like trash already with it. I don't know why I save it. Anyhow, that's it for today's videos. And we'll see you again in another video. Thank you for watching. If you like these vlogs, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to us. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.